got my candles on because I am chillaxing. Tonight I want to talk about what I think is one of the biggest problems or challenges with MS and that is fatigue. If you have MS you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't have MS the best way to describe the kind of fatigue that you get with MS is imagine uh, you're in university and it's finals week and you have just stayed up for two nights in a row to study for a huge exam and you take the exam and afterwards you're just ready to crash your eyes feel glazed you just start to feel really you know this insane feeling this feeling of I can just fall down on the pavement and go to sleep happily. That's the kind of feeling that you get with MS. Um, and sometimes it's for no apparent reason. So you can have a great sleep, wake up, it's a beautiful day, it's not too hot, and you are just exhausted. And you just cannot stop being exhausted. And um, you know, when it goes on for days or for weeks, it's really upsetting, obviously. Uh, and it's very hard to get on with your life. There are several ways to deal with fatigue um, and I'd like to share with you some that I find helpful. One of them is that when I'm on the train going to work I either A try to sit down or B I try to get into a spot where I don't have to hold on you know like this so if you can get to a spot where you can hold on to a bar or something on the side, um, that is preferable. Because any stretch that you do for a prolonged period that's either lifting your arms up or bringing your arms down is fatiguing your muscles. Um, yeah, it's good to exercise and, and do things in small spurts, but for a prolonged time to stand, you know, strep hanging as they say, um, is not good. So by the time you get to work, you can really be exhausted, um, which I have been. There are things that you can do in your kitchen, in your bathroom, that will also help you not stretch up. Just the easiest things, like if every day you use pepper and salt, then don't put those items up very high, put them, you know, at mid-body distance. Um, things like baking powder, maybe you don't use as much, so put that up high. If you have pans that you use every day, leave them on the stove. Don't put them up high or under in a cabinet that you have to constantly exhaust yourself getting them. Another thing is that when you're at work, a good idea is to take a nap during the day. Now, if you are someone who has not told your job or your colleagues don't know, um, it would be harder. But hey, you can just say, listen, I was out partying last night. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, take a, a nap in my cube. I don't know. At my job, everyone knows that I have MS and sometimes I just say, listen, I'm taking a nap for a half hour or 20 minutes, set your mobile, put it on your desk, and a nap. It makes the biggest difference. The days that I take a nap, it's night and day. If you're home and you're, say, cleaning the house, you have to think strategically. Uh, I'll vacuum then I'll sit down for a few minutes. Maybe I'll close my eyes for 10 minutes just to kind of shut down everything and rejuvenate. Then I'll get back up and then I'll start, you know, cleaning windows, whatever it is. Um, you need to kind of do things at a pace. I was at an MS seminar once and a woman asked, are you damaging yourself more if you're feeling tired and you're not resting? Can you possibly be doing more damage? And the neurologist who was conducting the seminar said, well, 
it's really not proven that you should rest when you feel tired. Now, that depends how stubborn you are. My thought is that you should not always rest when you feel tired, and I'll tell you why. With MS, if you give it this much, it'll take that much. And this is something that someone told me when I was first diagnosed. He said, his words were, if you uh, give it an inch, it will park a truck in it. <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? But then a year later, I, I realized what he was saying. It is good to rest and not tire yourself out. However, you know, there are some days that I really feel like just staying home in bed and I make myself get up. I do whatever it is I have to do to get my ass out of bed, get out of the house, whether it be getting to work or getting to, you know, wherever it is that I had wanted to go that day. You can't let this disease tell you that you're not going to do something. So my unsolicited advice is this. If you are not in a relapse and you are just experiencing day-to-day -day fatigue, with MS. I would say don't always rest, don't sleep late, don't give in to it. Having said that, if you are in a relapse or you feel like you're going into a relapse or three, you have an infection somewhere in your body which can trigger a relapse, then I highly recommend in those three scenarios that you should rest. That's the time when you need to maybe take off from work, to sleep all day if you have to. You know, sometimes in a relapse I have slept for two days and more. I mean, you know, you can stay in bed for a week if, if, if you need to. But it's very important to get that rest when you are in those categories. Relapse, about to relapse or you have an infection which can trigger a relapse. So if you have MS and you're tired all the time, um, I am too, so <laughs> I feel for you. Um, know that we're together in this in some weird way and so people who don't have it, you know, they don't understand why are you so tired again? Um, maybe they can't understand, but I do, and there's millions of people who also understand. So, you know, that's at least in some way comforting. <laughs> Thanks for watching.